Hi, Deadbox here again, and today we're doing another one of our famous Amazon reviews. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, I wonder what's fast famous. Well, it's going to become famous. It's like if we're lucky, it might get 30 views. That's, that's, that's that means famous. That 30 people are going to be bored because this review isn't all that interesting. <laughs> It's but we, we are going to stick something uh, interesting on the end. If I can. It, it might be another fail, but that that's fine. <laughs> It'll be fun anyway. So, today we are looking at the Federal <clears throat> Enfield Garage Locker Bolts for hinged or pop or, or up yeah. and over doors up to 38mm extra door security. Now, I'm pretty sure they only actually added the Enfield in there because there is actually a ver like a lock that looks a lot like this that is made by a company called Enfield. This doesn't appear to be anything to do with Enfield at all, but it is federal. Yep. And this is another Amazon's choice for garage door locks at twenty eight no, twenty one pound and forty eight pence. For once I agree with Amazon's choice. Which is different. It is. It's very different. So, let's get into the gist of this. So, if I can find where I put my things. So I'll start taking out the, the box as well. Oh, so. you dare take out the box without my permission. How dare you? Like this. <laughs> it's left and right. Just so you know. And it's... If you've noticed, there's one that's not in full. Rating seven packaging anymore because I have had one out. Okay, so this does say federal garage door bolt keys alike pay with three keys operated from either side. One criticism I have of this is it's not exactly user friendly. It's a little awkward. Meh. That's quite a sturdy little thing. Um, it will suit metal or wooden doors up to 38 millimeters thickness. The body is 167 millimeters wide by 46 millimeters high by 32 millimeters deep with bolt. 71 millimeters by 11 millimeters and yes that is one of the features the key features of this what's one of the key features the measurements oh is it listed under key features yes yes it is has it not got one of those things like that shows you like you know some of the keys that have the it does. It has. It has the little uh, dimple on the actual key, uh -huh. but there's nothing on here to show it. And even if there was, this is going to be behind the garage door. You're not going to be able to see it. Hmm. True. 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 So yeah, on the key, got a little dimple. But yeah. So Mr. Deadlocks is doing something that I wasn't expecting him to start doing. Yeah. Sometimes this takes a while, so. Fair enough. I might just give up and tell you about it instead. <laughs> but yeah, we'll say carry on. Okay. Um it says that it's suitable for hinged or up and over doors, also fit vertically or horizontally. I can imagine that. I say we don't have a garage, so <laughs> we we can't test it out on a carriage. Unless we're going to ask a neighbour to, to, to destroy his garage, Tom. Um, it is black, tough, weather-resistant finish. Ten-year mechanical guarantee. Should we break it and then send it back and see if we do actually get a guarantee? Make Everyone make thinks one. we should send the uh, Master Lock D-Lock back, even though uh, uh, and claim that it was uh, damaged in transit. <laughs> To be quite honest, with master locks, they probably would work. They probably expect to receive them back. <laughs> and hardened pinned for resistance to drilling and hardened molybdenum 
steel bolt. I don't know what molybendium steel bolt is. Oh, 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 favourite tool is coming out, I think. I just cut my nails and I can't get it out. Would you like a hand? When you got it, you got it. The Leatherman bread knife. Yeah, well, just a quick bit test to see if this egg is really hard. See, that, that is something that's hardened. Nothing happened. That's the way it should be. Go two seconds. Hold it. Hold it. Support it. There you go. See, like the tiniest bit of paint came off. There's no tiniest. And that's the same 10 strokes with the same Leatherman bread knife that everyone else has seen and loved. And so, yeah, that is pretty much all of the uh, key features that are reported with this. It does say it's a security level 7. Right, I've just picked this. Like last time it wasn't going very well. I picked it. This is a problem that I had with picking it all the time. Right, you, get, you get the first position picked. Yep. And as I pretty much expected, you get to a quarter turn and it locks up again. And I thought, hey, you're probably just going to need to pick it again. Uh, but a couple of the pins actually lock up a bit. I can pick it back fully locked again, but I can't carry on picking it. I do yeah, have I some... Uh, what was the picking it back? Yeah, man, right. picking it, seeing, showing that it can't be picked the other way. Or picked any further? If, if I must, I don't think it. Well, apart, apart from anything else, if you watch, uh, the, can you see the core properly there? Yeah. Can you see it moving there? Yeah. That's me tensioning it for back over. If I try and tension it for forward, it is fully locked up. It doesn't budge. I can't even tension it. I think it shows that it's quite good. I can think of ways that it may be possible to pick this. Maybe a plug spinner to spin past those points. Maybe because the, there is a bit of a wobble on that that you probably can't see on the camera. That you may be able to get some shims in and get it round with the shims. But realistically that is going to be behind the garage door and that's going to be a faff. And nobody's actually going to pick the way through that. Uh, yeah as for the review if i had a garage i would have some of these on my garage door because they're actually pretty good so for once amazon's choice is good thumbs up is there anything else that needs saying about that literally that is all that it says okay um... so now we're going to move on to an exciting thing so we're going to pause and we will come back quickly so we're back again and so yeah we're, we're here again yeah it wouldn't be a deadlock review if we uh didn't, didn't to break something yeah or didn't attempt to try and break something so you know that lock was you know pretty a sturdy kind of lock that we might be able to break with some kind of my god he broke something should we celebrate <laughs> Even though it was cardboard. But hey. Anyway, Mr. Deadlock's decided he wanted to he had so much fun trying to kill himself with the jack last time that he really wants to try it again. Yes, you did press record, didn't you? I have. See last time we got a lot of bone out sideways, so we ended up with more of a circle lock than a, a D lock. This time I'm gonna try and put the jack as close as I can to the locking bar so hopefully that will put more pressure on the, the sides of the locking bar and hopefully it will smash the locking bar instead of just bending the frame so as last time safety glasses average glasses but far away to 
again, let's not laugh at Mr. Deadlocks' unfitness. <laughs> I mean, he 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 asthma. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Has to get his cough in there. Does remind me, we need to call pick up your prescription today. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Let me move that closer. Well, the pop thing's already popping out already. Try to get it closer to the. There we go. I want it. Right. This has gone very tight, very fast this time. Oh, and that thing's popped right out really quickly. Oh, God. Oh, it's really coming out. Oh, it's really, really coming out. Oh, my goodness. Didn't come out this far last time. Oh! There we go. Oh, my goodness. I got such a fright. We actually successfully broke something. Mr. Deadlocks. <laughs> Mr. Deadlocks. And we can't even record over it. I'll just bleep it out. Yep. Yes. The old school way does still work. You just need to get your technique right. My technique was wrong. But I got it right now. Happy days. Junk. For the scrap heap. It's all for us. See you next time. Bye. So, before we actually, like, head off again. Yeah, we thought that was all for us. But now I've spotted something a bit amusing. His... I can't help but notice that is actually all completely intact. Yep. We appear to have pulled the lock straight out of that. But the amusing thing is, that's still locked on there. And the lock still works. <laughs> <laughs> so so that is, uh, it's a way for lock, so it's kind of the weakest thing on there, but it's somehow the strongest thing on there. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I found that funny. But, yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, no, no, he's broken now. It's not that strong. <laughs> <laughs> now it has a hole in it. Oh. Be like a pirate. Aha, me well, is I'm being a pirate. Where's the light? Come on. Eh, eh, eh. No, I can't do it. I'm guessing there's wafers spread around the living room now because the wafers aren't in there anymore. <laughs> you are going to have to buy me a new Hoover. The amount of like bits of metal that my hoover keeps hoovering up uh, it's one. gonna explode soon oh there's one down there uh, there's some more there's, there's yeah, one there there's one there's one there by my foot there's one there, there, there's some wafers so wow. yeah, that, that is actually all from us for this time so see you next time bye